New details in the case of the postal carrier that appeared to be caught on video routinely pepper spraying a dog in Otay Mesa. As police ramp up their investigation, our tenders reporter Michael Chen tracked down a neighbor who believes the mailman also targeted his dog. You couldn't tell by looking at her, but Poopa has been through quite an ordeal, and it now appears she's not alone. This is nine-year-old Roscoe. His owner didn't want to be recorded, but tells us about two months ago, moments after their mail carrier left, Roscoe started to twitch in pain, which lasted minutes. Hours later, the dog's eyes were still red. The dog's owner didn't report it, but says another neighbor complained about a similar occurrence. Both of those homes are just blocks from the Galindo house. It makes me feel so, you know, so angry, so sad that he could be causing that much pain. It's tough news for Alfonso Galindo to take in. This week, we told you about the strange stains on his patio that led him to check his surveillance video and then an unbelievable sight. A postal carrier appearing to hold pepper spray under the mail, walking by the metal gate. At the same time, from another camera, Poopa begins convulsing for minutes dog is withering in pain. It, it makes me sick to my stomach. Galindo says he found nine similar incidents in the recordings on his hard drive about a month's worth. The Postal Service issued an apology saying the appropriate action will be taken. And that left me with a with a you know, with the question, is is this person going to get retrained and re-put on my route? And more questions about the impact on his two young children, constantly hugging Poopa. For months, they have suffered mysterious respiratory issues. On Wednesday, both were diagnosed with asthma. Galindo says more tests need to be done, but doctors believe the pepper spray could be the cause, and at the minimum, is an aggravating factor. Literally poisoning our kids and our and our, our dog. You know, what he's doing is criminal. Michael Chen, 10 News. Galindo says that several police detectives have interviewed him and collected evidence because police have yet to name the postal carrier as a suspect in this crime. We have blurred his face.